When I was speaking with the homeowner, she was still trying to wrap her mind around exactly what happened to her home and what's left of it. Let me show you exactly what I mean. If you take a look, you can see where her house is taped off. Her garage is boarded up. That is where the tow truck slammed into earlier today. Now, if you take a look at that red sign, that red sign indicates that this house is not livable at the moment. However, despite everything this family went through, they tell me they are just grateful that no one was home. You are looking at a tow truck slamming into a Cape Coral home on Southwest Chiquita Boulevard, South of Pine Island Road. Yeah, we can't stay. We have to get out. They just cut electricity and power. And this family can no longer live in their home until it's fixed. Glenda Perito lives here with her husband and also her seven-year-old. Now so much damage and so much to clean up after this tow truck crashed into her garage. Perito gave Fox 4 this video of the crash from her security camera. We usually sat, we had two sofas there. I don't know if you can't really tell, but that's a TV that we have there. We always sit in the garage and, you know, my daughter, she's always playing out here too. Her family wasn't home at the time, but her neighbors were. Well, it was just like a loud crash, like bang, and then walked outside and it was like a smoke cloud. I was sitting in my first uh, room here, which is my office I was working out of, when I heard a big bang. The towing company is City's Towing and Recovery. He um, towed my car not too long ago. Him and his um, father own the company. They're great people. They were super nice through the whole thing. Witnesses ran to the aid of the driver, saying he was drifting in and out of consciousness. When crews arrived, they had to use the jaws of life to get him out before rushing him to the hospital. He was alert. He was answering the questions that were asking him. Now, of course, Glenda and her family aren't here right now, but she did tell me that they have family to stay with tonight. Now, when I was speaking with Kate Fire, they did tell me that they are working with the Red Cross to find this family a home. Live from the Cape, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.